So once again, the far right libertarian comic gate community are are basically targeting Disney again. And it's their favorite topic. Re Lawson! Hero Dangerous Captain Marvel. And he got Geeky Sparkles slash Clownfish TV with her husband, Niels. Favorite website they use, Pirates and Princess, aka Kimberly Pardell. Or Neil, I don't, I don't care. Put out an article on it. It's the same article, but it is, it's about the remove and re, and re, and it's gonna get a second chance in IMAX the Marvels because Doom Part Two is gonna be delayed because of the the Gill slash writer strike is going on right now. So they uh, it gives both films the opportunity to make money in their own special way. But these morons are not gonna reference that. So let's go. The Marvels will be released to IMAX after Doom 2 release date change by Kimberly Pardell, aka Geeky Sparkles or Clownfish TV. So let's go. It appears that The Marvels will be released to IMAX theaters after Doom was pushed back to 2004. Disney is for now, safe the current with its November Marvel film, as many other films has been shelved to 2024 over the obvious Hollywood strike, which Doom 2 will go to get so. Solo time on the IMAX theater. It seems that the Marvels will have to share with other films, including The Hunger Games, The Bell of the Yeah Bell of Singing Bird and Snake and Killer. Of the flower moon. <laughs> Disney is seeing choosing to release release the film as it will have least competition now in freaky. They need a theater the actual win they can get. Plus, this film has already had a current of release date that Disney has changed before. It was me meant to be out by now. I have to wonder if IMAX won't went to ha want to have back up in cause another film plus push back till 2024 because they are replacing one film w with a recent of three other films. Including the news was broken by the IMAX CEO Richard Glensdale at the Golden Man Soul Company plus Tech Singer. IMAX is set to to screen alternate Hollywood tenants like Nissa Naya Dixon, The Marvel, Lionsgate latest Hunger Games sequel. Sequel. Actually, it's a prequel. And 
Apple's Killer of the Flower Moon. Grid is put, putting all three films into play, which Doom 2 would get an X win window next year. Now that it's moved, we can play all three and we have great titles next year in Doom. It seems the grant is going to keep IMAX theaters screaming filled even if Hollywood continues to strike. They are even going to complete films choice to the lowest giving films from those markets a chance to run on the big screen. IMAX will also local li listen films in cinematic markets in the industry of co continuously to the Hollywood theaters release schedule from the Daily Strike. He us uh, he uh, uh, found off figure figure finished off his analysis by saying that people aren't that comfortable about the strike. We have a lot of levels to push. So no, I don't think people are that wor working work up about the strike. He's kind of right. The Marvel is confirmed set to release on November 10th, 2023. What do you think? Comment and let us know. So yeah, there you go. So at least she said it in a nice way. John and Trent and Mark McGroy will say something dumb. She's just being all biased about it. So that you don't think Kimberly Pardell is while she will say this in her YouTube video on Clownfish TV as Geeky Sparkle, but as Kimberly Pardell, the person, she's going to be all nice about it because she got to be biased because she's a fucking fat bitch, Kimberly Pardell. Yeah, I said it. This is not, this is her as a journalist on her personal site, not her, the bitch you, you get on Clownfish TV at Geeky Sparkle. So, while it's funny that she's saying all this because she's being biased here, and there's a double standard here, but her on YouTube is a bitch. She's a fat bitch on YouTube. Especially when it comes to Brie Lawson. You, you, she loves sucking a dick for value for views with her husband Niels on Clownfish TV about this shit. It's because if you type in the word The Marvels, you will find a bunch of hate videos on on the subject. Literally, it's like you literally type in the word The Marvels You get the trailer and this. Yeah, you get from Ryan Kidner. This is not good, clearly. Yeah, his, his take on it. It's like a seven minute and six minute cracker bitch whining about it, saying this doesn't look good because I don't know. It's like Marvel gets roasted for new parent trailer for the Marvels. Can Disney get fans to care about it? I'm like, what are you talking about? What's wrong with the latest trailer? No, I'm serious, Ryan. What's wrong with the, the latest trailer of the Marvels? All she did is fly in the air with her cat goose. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. He's in the comments, it's Chewy. So I'm like, what do you got? What's wrong with that? It's wrong for Brie Lawson as Captain Marvel to fly in the air with her cat in space. And then also have Kamala Khan with Nick Fury fighting out villains and shit with Monica Rambo Photon. I'm like, what are you talking about? Why why do y'all hate the movie? Oh yeah, it's because it's three women. One of them was Brie Lawson, who's a white girl. The other one's Izzy Badea, a pes a pesigetian teenage girl, and the other one's a black chick. Hot to mom to out to Lee's hot ass. So I'm like, yeah, the only reason y'all hate on this movie is because it's three women of, two of them of color and one's white. And the white man can't stand Brie Lawson because Brie Lawson told the white man to go fuck himself. But yeah, I'm, I'm basically saying that's the reason why all these motherfuckers are making all these hate videos on this. Yeah, it's like a bunch of lies and shit. Oh, you ain't got Jonas Rises ugly goat face ass saying the exact same thing. Deleted comment. Oh, I'm like, where did they delete the comment, cracker? Oh, you mean all the racist, sexist, homophobic, homophobic comments that you motherfuckers with? And then also you're gonna you, you bring up the dislike button. They, the y'all the fuckers, all the reason why they took out the dislike button, motherfucker. No, I'm serious. The confiscate community is why they took out the dislike button in the YouTube algorithm. It's because of you fuckers. And this is probably the reason they did it is Captain Marvel. Because y'all motherfuckers would go out of your way to dislike Captain Marvel 1, and now the Marvels, and then any else is that you label woke. Because y'all a bunch of pussies. Yeah, I said it. I'm literally saying that. It's like, oh, you got Mike Zero, the Marvels test screen beyond... Salvos up. Or horrible. I'm like, why is it? And why you never mentioned how horrible the test screening for my son Hunter was for Bri for Jennifer Carano. Yeah, no one referenced that. It's like you had a little battle of people go see my son Hunter and it really didn't flow that well. Yeah, you never you motherfuckers never referenced that. He never referenced that, dog. It's like a thing you fuckers like to overlook. That both Terror on the Prairie and My Son Hunters are bad movies. And it stars Gina Carano. But you love coming out here and making up bullshit about the Marvels. Making up why people should hate Brie Lawson. And I'm like, why? Uh, Because she's racing as a white man. I'm like, kiss my ass on that one, dog. Kiss my ass. I'm like, literally, whitey. Kiss my ass. Because... Because I'm sick and tired of the white man trying to make me virtue singer for his crack of ass. Yeah, I said it, whitey. Motherfucker, you have all these bullshit reasons why, why everything is about your crack of ass. And now you want me to virtue singer for your crack of ass because allegedly Brie Lawson is racist against the white man. And I'm like, give me some fucking evidence, motherfucker. And you're going to give me that, um, I, that women of film... Dig digital screen award, and then I'm gonna tell you go fuck yourself, cause that was not her being racist against the white man. That's just her making a a joke about it, and, and y'all motherfuckers can't handle it, cause it's not uh, let it's not about LGBTQ people, aka trans people, minorities, and women in the far left. Yeah, that's all y'all take as a joke. Women, minorities. LGBTQ people, aka trans people, and the left. Joke. It's a joke to y'all fuckers. So yeah, I'm basically saying, oh, you got Yellow Flags, a zillion video on Brie Lawson, aka both Brie Lawson and Carol Dandridge's Captain Marvel on YouTube here. It's like, yeah, he's a zillion video. Here's a zillion video. Oh, and he got Titus, Tyson, Morgan here, nigga ass, basically sucking the dick for the white man to stay afloat on YouTube. 
Yeah, it's like a bunch of you motherfuckers making up bullshit. That people dislike this character. And I want to see this evidence, Mr. H Reviews, you fucking British ass bitch. Oh, you got Gary. He just came back from the UK tour. It's a zillion video on Brie Lawson. It's Doom. I'm like, why is it Doom, Cracker? Give me a, give me a reason other than your bitch ass is a piece of shit bitch, Gary. You're a bitch, Gary. Because I'm like, yeah, it's to a point that my boy Ovid O'Reilly Critic debunked your ass and you, you, you sent out a video out to him saying why you said what you said about Miles Morales. It was kind of, it was dumb because you just came out and said it. Yeah, while he is search a, 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 a somewhat Spider-Man but Peter Parker is the standalone spider. It's like, oh, so you basically did it because you're a racist and you're trolling people, Gary. You did it because you're trolling people and you're a racist. Just like this. You're a sexist, racist, homophobic, trans-hating bastard. And everybody knows it now, Gary. And it's all because of you, dumbass. And the only people that like y'all shit is a bunch of retards. This could be bad. I'm like, why is it bad, Ryan, again? I'm like, why y'all keep on saying it's bad? It's like a billion videos from y'all fuckers telling me it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. This looks bad for the, the Mar for Marvel. Even got world-class bullshitters, dick-sucking ass, Jeff Hook. Bitch ass saying, nah. I'm like, why, why, nigga? Why you hate it? Because the white man told you a little chunky ass to, to hate on it, you fat bastard. Yeah, you little fat bastard. Yeah, I called you world class bullshitter. You, you know, fat, ugly, caramel ass bitch, Gary. I mean, Jeff, you're a fat, ugly ass motherfucker. I said it, Jeff. You're an ugly ass motherfucker. It's kind of funny having an ugly, chunky ass motherfucker come out and said everything's woke and make fun of people's uh, opinions, look, and all that other shit. Yeah, it's kind of funny having a chunky-ass nigga bitch come out and make fun of your ass. It's like, literally, nigga, you gonna make fun of me? Look the way you do, nigga? Yeah, I might not be in shape, but I'm not as chunky as you, motherfucker. You little bitch. Yeah, I said it. World-class bullshit doesn't mean a goddamn thing other than bullshit. That's what it is. It's a bunch it's, it's a bunch of you fuckers, including you, Jeff, who are a bunch of lying-ass bitches. You lied to your fan base, jackass, and then your comic book, Woke Buster, is a garbage comic. Because I'm like, what are you against? What makes it a great book, Woke Busters? Oh, uh, we go out to things woke. What's woke, nigga? What's woke? Yeah, explain it to me, nigga. What are you busting? Oh, uh, things are woke, then. What is woke mean? What is your enemy is? Who are you attacking with your proton pack, motherfucker? If you can't explain to me who you are attacking, then your comic book is a piece of shit. Jeff, your woke buster comic is a piece of shit. Yeah, I said it's a piece of shit. It's not even that funny of a book. It's just a piece of shit book. So yeah, you go. I, I can go on and on about about pirates and princesses article and and how everyone in the comic community can kiss my ass. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoy that one. Love you. Be yourself. Higher for the faster. Together. Excelsior. Fuck Robert DeSantis. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck the far right. I love you all. I'm out. Subscribe, comment, and do work. And be excellent. I'm out.